I'm a giraffe. I'm a dinosaur. Rawr! <laughs> Let's see if you can be a galloping horse. We're going to be late for school if we don't hurry up. It's a good day for shadows, isn't it, Caillou? Yes, that's because there aren't any clouds. When clouds cover up the sun, there aren't any shadows. My goodness, you know a lot about shadows. Caillou was very excited when Miss Martin said they could make more shadows inside. <gasps> oh! We can pretend that this flashlight is our sun. Who wants to make shadows? <laughs> yeah! Awesome! <laughs> Look! What happens when a cloud comes along? Caillou? The cloud blocks the sun's light so there's no shadow. That's right, Caillou. You know a lot about shadows. You must be a scientist. Scientists are people who study and learn about the world around us. Caillou was very proud to be a scientist. Do you want to play dinosaur shadows when we go outside at lunchtime? Yeah. But at lunchtime, Caillou had a big surprise. Rawr! Oh. Where do shadows go, Caillou? Caillou thought he knew everything about shadows, but he didn't know the answer to that. Race you to the slide! He did have a shadow, but it was only teeny tiny. Caillou was very disappointed. Caillou, what's the matter? Caillou liked being a scientist. He didn't want to admit he didn't know why his shadow had disappeared. But he also really, really wanted to know why it had disappeared. Miss Martin, why is my shadow gone? That's a very good question, Caillou. Let's talk about it inside. Caillou has a question. Can you repeat it for everyone, please? Don't be shy. Scientists ask questions like this all the time. They do? Oh, yes. Even scientists can learn more about things. And the way to learn more is to be curious and ask questions. Why didn't I have a shadow when I went outside at lunchtime? Let's all be scientists and try to solve this problem. First, what do we know about shadows? Shadows are made when something is in front of a light. Right. And when we're outside, that bright light is... The sun! Exactly! Now, is the sun always in the same place in the sky? When I get up early, I can see the sun rising. It comes up behind the house across the street. And at night it goes down again! Now we're thinking like scientists. So, the sun can be seen in different places in the sky. When the sun moves, the shadows move, too! Yes. Where was the sun when we went outside at lunchtime, Caillou? Caillou thought very hard and suddenly remembered. I remember. It was straight up above my head. Right. Now let's create the same situation in our lab. Lab? <laughs> That's what we call our room when we're being scientists. It's short for laboratory. This is sunrise. That's what your shadow looked like this morning, right, Caillou? Yeah! Now let's put the sun where it was at lunchtime. The shadow is gone! Now, Caillou, what do you think will happen next? Hmm, let's see. 
Here's the sun at lunchtime, and then the sun goes down at sunset. That means the shadows are going to come back later. You've just done what scientists do, Caillou. You asked a question, looked at the facts, and made a guess about what will happen. Later, we'll go outside to see if Caillou's guess is right. Caillou was very excited to be a scientist, but he was a little nervous about his guess. Would he be right or wrong? Your pocket full of posies, hush-a, hush we all fall down! Oh, oh. <laughs> well done! Now, who would like to go outside to see if Caillou is right and our shadows are back? Yeah! <laughs> Are. You are a very good scientist, Caillou. Do you know why? Because I was right. <laughs> and why else? Because I asked questions. Exactly. Miss Martin, I've got another question. Yes, Caillou? Can we play shadow tag? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll get you, Leo. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Caillou learned how important it was and how much fun it could be to ask questions. That was a lot of work. Caillou's daddy had spent the whole afternoon raking leaves in their yard. Wow! Look at all those leaves! That's right. Every autumn, it's the same thing. All the trees drop their leaves, and it's my job to clean them up. Whoa! I can't wait till I'm a daddy and I get to do all the fun jobs. <laughs> well, if you think raking the leaves is fun, I know another fall activity you'll really love. Jump right into the middle of the pile. having a wonderful time. He never knew that jumping into leaves could be so much fun. Again! Wow, we've been jumping for a long time, Caillou. I think we'd better call it a day. It'll be dinner time soon. Caillou was disappointed. He didn't want his leaf jumping fun to end. Oh, can I keep jumping, Daddy? I'm having fun. Sorry to be a spoil sport, Caillou, but it's time to tidy up. Come back here. <laughs> hmm, this could be a problem. How about some help, Caillou? Okay. All done. You see, Caillou? There's always a way to figure out a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> Daddy! Let's go inside. But, Daddy, when will I get to jump in the leaves again? Oh, probably not till next fall, but maybe you can find something else to jump on. Caillou thought that sounded like a good idea, but he wondered what could possibly be as much fun as jumping on a pile of leaves. Caillou, what are you doing? I was going to jump on the cushions. On the cushions? Oh, I don't know if I like that idea. But, Mommy, I was just pretending it was a leaf pile. Oh, I see. Well, perhaps you can find a leaf pile somewhere else. <sighs> okay, Mommy. Mommy had said it wasn't a good idea to jump on the couch. But she never said anything about Caillou's bed. Bouncy! 
Caillou, what are you doing? I'm, um, trying to find something else to jump on. Caillou, jumping is fun, I know, but your bed isn't the right something else to jump on. I think it's better for sleeping in, don't you? There's still a little time before dinner. Why don't you see if Rosie will let you jump on her beanbag? That's always fun. Yeah, Rosie's beanbag! Caillou thought he had found the perfect thing to jump on. Caillou, story time! Sorry, Rosie. I don't want to look at stories. I want to jump. Can you get up so I can use your beanbag? Story time! I have a great idea. Let's share it. Ugh. Squeeze over, Rosie. Caillou and Rosie tried to share the beanbag chair, but there just wasn't enough room for both of them. No room, no room. Ugh. Oh, I can't jump anywhere. Bye, Caillou. Caillou was feeling a little frustrated. He couldn't think of any place where he could jump and have fun, other than the leaf pile. <gasps> Gilbert's bed! <coughs> oh! <coughs> Gilbert! I was just going to jump there! Ah. <sighs> <laughs> you see, Caillou, there's always a way to solve a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> That's it! Daddy grabbed up all the leaves with his fingers. My pillow! <laughs> yeah! Caillou wondered what else he could add to the pile. Whee! Caillou's daddy had been right. There was always a way to figure out a problem. <sighs> this is gonna be the bounciest pile ever! Wow, looks like you're having fun. Yeah, I made my own leaf pile. I guess you won't have to wait till fall now. And I'm sure you'll clean up your room when you're done, right? <laughs> yes, I'll make sure I rake it all up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to be a spoil sport, but dinner's almost ready. I hope you've bounced up a good appetite. I'll be down in a minute. Caillou was so happy. He had made a wonderful new leaf pile to jump on. And he even had some company. Rosie jumped too? And that's how Caillou <laughs> realized he could solve a problem with a little imagination. Caillou was excited. His older friend Daniel was coming over for the weekend while his parents were away. When is Daniel coming, Mommy? I'm sure he'll be here soon, Caillou. Are you excited? Yeah, Daniel's fun. He knows how to skateboard, and he can whistle, and he knows all about dinosaurs. Daniel knows a lot of things, doesn't he? Daniel knows everything. <laughs> everything? Really? He's here! Hi, Daniel! Hey, Caillou! How's it going? <laughs> Come on, let's play! Stegosaurus is the best dinosaur. It's got armor and spikes! Nah, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. The T-Rex is the king of the dinosaurs. Grrr! Caillou thought Daniel knew everything about dinosaurs. He figured he must be right. Yeah! Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. Stegosauruses are silly. Actually, 
I'm not so into dinosaurs anymore. Check this out. An airplane? Yeah, airplanes are so cool. Caillou wanted to be just like Daniel, so he agreed with him. Yeah, airplanes are cool. They're my, uh, favorite. Awesome. What planes have you got? Uh, I don't know. Caillou looked, but the only plane he had was a model Grandpa had given him. And it wasn't put together yet. I don't have any. Sorry, Daniel. That's okay. I'll make one. Caillou watched in amazement as Daniel quickly folded up the paper. An airplane! Yep. Watch this. <gasps> wow! Can I make one? Sure, it's easy. You just fold your paper like this. And then on the other side. Yep. Here, look. See? All ready for takeoff? Ready! Three, Three two, two. <laughs> wow! Your plane flew way better than mine. Hey, that was pretty good for your first time. I'm thirsty. Is it okay if we get a drink? Sure. Hang on. Caillou was thirsty too, but the paper aeroplanes had given him a fun idea. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? I see. <laughs> it's a secret message. I'm guessing somebody is thirsty. We are, Mommy. Can we have a drink? Mommy, did you see my plane fly? Daniel's planes fly even better. They're awesome! My dad taught me how to make them. Caillou? Have you shown Daniel the model plane Grandpa gave you? No, it's not put together yet. It's not? Then we should build it. Yeah, I'll go get it. Have fun. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. This is gonna be cool. Yeah. It looks hard to make. Nah, it's easy. We don't need any instructions. See? Caillou wasn't as confident as Daniel. But the picture helped him figure out how the parts should go together. Caillou felt proud. He had put two pieces of the airplane's tail together. Look, Daniel! Awesome, Caillou. Look, our plane's all done and ready to fly. Caillou thought the plane didn't look quite right. Daniel, our plane doesn't look like the one in the picture. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Now let's get flying. Caillou still wasn't sure, but he thought Daniel knew everything. So he must have been right about the plane. Pilot to co-pilot, ready for takeoff? Ready! Then let's go! Yay! <gasps> oh man. There must be something wrong with the plane. Rotten luck. Oh well. Come on, Caillou. We may as well go back inside. Caillou was sure the wings on the plane didn't look right. He decided he would fix them. Daniel, maybe the wings were on backwards. Maybe you're right, Caillou. 
guess it's worth a try. Woohoo! Look at it go! It works! Wow, Caillou! You fixed it! I guess I should have paid attention to the instructions. You sure know a lot of stuff. Thanks! Pilot to co-pilot, prepare for takeoff! Caillou was very proud. He realized even someone his age could teach an older friend a thing or two. Caillou's family loved going for bike rides, and they took very good care of their bikes. Especially Caillou. Rosie Wash? No thanks, I like doing it. Don't wash that. Oh, now my head's gonna get all wet. I think Rosie really wants to help. Isn't there something she could do? Um... You can wash the handlebars. Just be careful. Good! I'll get another towel. It. Rosie, sorry. She didn't mean to, Caillou. But Caillou was too upset to listen. All he knew was that Rosie had scratched one of his favorite things, and he didn't want it to happen again. So he decided to take back everything he had let Rosie play with. to knock. <laughs> now she can't sneak in. Caillou felt better, knowing that all his toys were safe from Rosie. Then he remembered something. <gasps> I have toys in the playroom, too! You don't touch mine, okay? Okay. Ooh, ticker! Can you take? You're giving me this? But it's your best sticker. Thanks, but you should really keep it for your sticker book. Oops, 
I'm out of tape. I'd better get more. Flashlight, garbage bags, tape. Caillou, there's something a little different about my guitar. Is there anything you want to tell me? I broke it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I tried to fix it. <laughs> yes, I noticed. It's all right, Caillou. Just let me do the fixing next time, okay? Okay, but aren't you mad? No, accidents happen. When Rosie scratched my bike, I felt really mad. How do you think Rosie felt? She probably felt really sorry. I think so too. So, would you like to learn how to change a guitar string? Yes, but can we do it later? I have to do something. Sure, Caillou. Mine! I know, I won't take it. Rosie, I'm sorry I was grouchy about my bike. Accidents happen to everybody. Even me. So, you can still play with my toys, okay? Okay. Do you want to play with my tambourine? Tambourine, tambourine! I think that's a yes. And if you still want to give me that sticker, I thought of a really good place for it. Okay. All gone. That looks great. It sure does. So, who feels like a family bike ride? Me! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were happy again. They had learned how to forgive one another. Rosie were enjoying working on a puzzle together, until... Hey! There's a piece missing! Good news, Caillou! I just spoke with Clementine's mommy. Clementine is coming over for the day. Yay! Clementine! <laughs> the puzzle piece! I was sitting on it. <laughs> That must be Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. What do you want to play? Cars or trains or... Actually, Caillou, I'm taking both you and Clementine rock climbing. Rock climbing? Caillou couldn't imagine Mommy taking him rock climbing. Surely he'd heard her wrong. The community center is having an open house today. I thought you might like to give their rock climbing wall a try. Caillou liked going to the community center, but he still wasn't so sure about rock climbing. I love rock climbing. I've been before. It's fun. Great. Why don't you kids get ready so we can get going? Hi, I'm Samantha. I'll be your instructor for the day. Are we ready to have some fun? Yes! Okay, now first, we need to get you fitted for some handy-dandy equipment. Come on over here. It's always important to wear the right shoes and helmets on the climbing wall. Hmm, these look to be about your size. Try them on.
How do they feel? Great! <laughs> I feel like a real rock climber. Now it's your turn, Caillou. <gasps> Don't be shy. Try them on. It's okay, Caillou. There. Now you look like a real rock climber, too. But, um, they're too small. Are you sure, Caillou? They seem to fit fine. Let's try on your helmet. There, look. It's a perfect fit. Really? It feels, um, kind of big. He knew the shoes and helmet fit fine. He was just feeling a little nervous. But he didn't know how to tell anyone. I'm sure they're okay, Caillou. Now, my little climbers, we need to rub this chalk on our hands before we start climbing. I'm not allowed to draw on my hands. It's okay, Caillou. The chalk is so your hands won't be slippery. That's right. Here, we want you to have messy hands. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the rock climbing wall. Yay! <sighs> so, what do you think? It looks like fun, right? Yes! Caillou was worried. The climbing wall wasn't as big as he imagined it, but it was still very tall. Can we climb now? <laughs> You're an eager beaver, aren't you? First, I need to show you how the harnesses and ropes work. This is how you'll be harnessed to the safety ropes. When you finish climbing the wall, you'll get a fun ride down to the bottom. Down? Don't worry. I'll be here the whole time in case you need any help. Okay, climbers. It's time to chalk and climb. Who wants to go first? Me, 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 me! Caillou wasn't ready to try rock climbing, but he hoped no one would notice. Caillou, this isn't hide and seek. It's rock climbing. <laughs> Let's get to the top and ring the bell. The top? You know, Caillou, rock climbing is actually much easier than it looks. Caillou finally decided he should tell Samantha and Mommy how he really felt. But it looks hard and scary. I'm glad you told me, Caillou, but I would never take you anywhere that wasn't safe. And it really is lots of fun. Hmm. You've climbed trees before, right, Caillou? At the park. What else have you climbed? Ladders with Daddy. Well, rock climbing is a lot like climbing a tree or a ladder. You climb one step at a time using the rocks for grips. This made Caillou feel much better. He was good at climbing trees and ladders. Maybe he could climb the rock wall. Do you think you could give it a try? I'll be here every step of the way. Okay. Whoa! Remember, it's just like climbing a ladder, one step at a time. Caillou climbed up one step, and then another step, and another step. He was beginning to get good at it. I'm going to ring the bell first. <laughs> no way, I am. I did it, I really did it. Yay! Way to go. I knew you could. <laughs> way to go, guys. That was awesome, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing really is lots of fun. Can, Can we, we go, go again? again? And that is how Caillou overcame his fear of rock climbing. Caillou looked everywhere, but he couldn't find his special shirt. Whoa! Caillou, 
I spent a long time putting those clothes away. But, Mommy, I need my art shirt for school today. We're doing paper mache. You mean that shirt? You found it. I laid it out for you last night, Caillou. You can tidy up later. Now, hurry up or you won't have time to eat the special breakfast I made for you. <sighs> Rosie had been up all night with a bad cough and the sniffles. <coughs> and that meant Mommy had been up all night, too. <sighs> oh, these pancakes should make you feel better, Rosie. Paper mache, mommy. Maybe a lion or a dragon. How about a dinosaur? Mommy was sure Caillou would like his special dinosaur pancake, but Caillou barely even noticed. Yeah, maybe a dinosaur. Or maybe a. Bunny! <coughs> no, Rosie. I don't want to make a bunny. <sighs> Oh, poor Rosie. I wish I could make you feel better. <laughs> what are you going to make, Caillou? I was going to make a dinosaur, but I changed my mind. Now I'm going to make a bunny for Rosie. She's sick. Can I make a dinosaur? Sure. <laughs> Goopy! <laughs> That's it. Take the newspaper strips, dip them in the glue, and then stick them to your balloon. <laughs> Ew, yuck! Caillou began working very hard on his paper mache bunny. He knew Rosie was going to love it. Everyone, we'll let the paper mache dry overnight, and tomorrow we'll all paint our animals. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm catching Rosie's cold. Ready for bed, Caillou? Uh huh. And all my clothes are picked up, Mommy. I guess they are. Caillou was so excited about his bunny, he didn't notice how tired Mommy was. Wait till you see it, Mommy. I gave Rosie's bunny long ears, and I made whiskers with pipe cleaners. It sounds wonderful, Caillou. I hope Rosie likes it. Oh, dear. Look at your art shirt. Can you clean it so I can wear it again tomorrow, Mommy? Please? I'm going to paint Rosie's bunny. Okay. I'll see what I can do. If you promise not to throw your clothes on the floor again. <laughs> I promise. Rosie better? Mommy, where's my... Art shirt? It's right here. What do you say? <laughs> I stayed up late last night to wash it. Thank you! <laughs> what a wonderful blue bunny, Caillou. It's for my sister, Rosie. Well, I'm sure she's going to love it. Caillou felt proud. He couldn't wait to bring his bunny home to Rosie. I think someone is almost better. Awesome. Oh, that sounds like your big brother. Oopie. Rosie, I'm home! Caillou was excited to show Rosie his surprise. Look what I made for you, a bunny. Can you play puzzle? 
Caillou was disappointed. Rosie barely even looked at her bunny. Look, Rosie, it's a bunny. Hi, Rosie, I'm a bunny. I like eating carrots. Yum, yum. No, puzzle. <laughs> but Rosie, see, he has whiskers and I painted him blue. You like blue. <laughs> bunny money. What's wrong, Caillou? You look a little down. I worked hard on Rosie's bunny, and she didn't like it. People don't always realize how hard we work to make them happy. Why don't you help me with dinner? You can wash the carrots while I peel the potatoes. Okay. All done. Good job, Caillou. Now, you can mash these boiled potatoes. Making dinner is hard work, Mommy. It sure is. It's also work to pick up clothes and wash a favorite shirt for a certain someone. Caillou never realized how hard Mommy worked to make him happy. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, Caillou. And by the way, I think Bunny is beautiful. Where are you going? I'm gonna be a good little bunny and put away my clothes before dinner. <laughs> this was Caillou's way of saying thank you, Mommy, for all her hard work. We're almost there. Caillou and Leo were very excited. They were going to the ice rink <laughs> to play hockey together. Yay, I scored! <laughs> That's because you didn't have me for a goalie. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Clementine. Do you want to play hockey with us? Hockey? Um, no thanks. We're already playing ringette. Ring it? What's ring it? It's ringette, and it's really fun. Do you want to play with us? Caillou had never heard of ringette before, but he didn't want to play that game. Can't we play hockey? <laughs> it's way more fun. Yeah. How do you know if you've never played ringette? I don't know. It just is. Uh-huh. Sorry, but we're already in the middle of a game. Caillou and Leo tried to play hockey in the snow, but it wasn't the same as playing on the ice. <sighs> nice shot. Thanks. Come on, boys. It's time to start heading back home. How come you didn't want to play with Sarah and Clementine? Because they're playing ringette. We wanted to play hockey. Hockey's better. Yeah. Ringette sounds too easy. I like hockey, too. But maybe you could have given ringette a chance. Did you know Mommy used to play it? Mommy played ringette? Yes, and she was very good at it. She never told me that. Mommy, what do you know about ringette? Ringette? Oh, I think I know a little something. <laughs> oh, I haven't looked at these things in years. I used to be captain of my team. It was a lot of fun. Wow. So, how do you play? I'll show you. You know, I think this game is much better when it's played outside.
Are you sure you don't want to try a ring at stick, Caillou? No, thanks. Yours doesn't have a blade, like mine. This is true. Ringette sticks don't have blades, which makes it easier to do this. <gasps> hey! How about a little game of keep away? Hey, no fair! <laughs> Huh? You know, you might find it easier if you try a ringette stick instead of using that old hockey stick. Caillou had decided Mommy was right. He was curious to see what it was like to play with a ringette stick. So you just need to catch that ring with this stick? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. Pass me the ring, Mommy. <gasps> I wasn't ready, but now I am. Caillou tried to catch huh? the ring, but it was much harder than he thought. Oopsie. Huh? Whoa! Much harder than Caillou thought. I did it! Woohoo! Good job, Caillou. You're learning. Uh huh. Now it's my turn to pass. Oops. Sorry. No problem. Wow! How did you do that? I've had lots of practice, but it's not so easy, is it? Especially when you're playing on ice, trying to score on the goalie in net. A goalie? Hmm. Caillou suddenly realized that ringette sounded an awful lot like another sport he knew. <gasps> hockey? Ringette is a lot like hockey, Mommy. Yes, that's true. And just like hockey, it takes a lot of practice in order to get good at it. Practice, huh? The next day, Caillou and Leo arrived at the ice rink early with Daddy. Did you watch the hockey game last night, Leo? Yeah. Well, until I went to bed. But did you see that goal? It was great. Hi, guys. Looks like you got here first. So I guess it's your turn to have the rink. Is it okay if we play hockey with you? Nope. Sorry, you can't. <gasps> <gasps> but we can all play ringette together! <laughs> I'm sorry for not wanting to play ringette with you before. I didn't know what it was, but now I do. It's a lot like hockey. Really? It's like hockey? Like hockey, because it's just as much fun. Yeah! From that day on, Caillou was happy to try new games. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were excited. Mommy and Daddy were taking them to the beach for the day. Perfect. I think we have everything we need. Wait, let's get some sunblock on before we go. <laughs> that tickles. Look, Mommy, the sun is hiding. I'm sure those clouds will drift away by the time we get to the beach. Now hop in. But soon it started raining. Caillou was worried he wouldn't get to play on the beach. Is the sun going to come out, Daddy? It's just a summer rain shower, Caillou. It'll stop by the time we get to the beach. <sighs> I hope. When the family arrived at the beach, it was still raining, just a little bit. Hmm, I don't know, kids. The beach looks awfully wet. 
maybe we should head home and do something inside instead. No! We want to stay at the beach and have fun. Right, Rosie? Rosie, stay! Mommy, Daddy, look! The sun, see? It's peeking out. Please, can we play on the beach? We're here anyway. Okay, kids. We'll give it a try. Yay! This looks like a good spot. At least it's not crowded. Caillou was amazed at how different the beach looked without lots of people. Good thing we've got this sun umbrella to keep us dry. Yeah! Caillou wanted to laugh because Daddy looked so funny. But he was too worried Daddy might want to go home. <laughs> You're right, Rosie. Daddy made more rain. <laughs> Here you go, kids. Thanks. Thank you. Caillou felt happy. Everyone else seemed happy, too. He was sure they would have a wonderful day at the beach. Look, Daddy! Seagulls! Where? Oopsie! Ah, oh, now look at that. There's sand in my sandwich. <laughs> Caillou wanted to make Daddy feel better. You can share my sandwich, Daddy. That's very nice of you, Caillou. It sure is. But luckily, I brought plenty of sandwiches. Hey, looks like it finally stopped raining. Caillou was happy it had stopped raining. He wanted to go and play. Come on, Rosie. Let's see if the waves can catch us. Here it comes. Run! Oh, I... <laughs> Shell pretty! Yeah, let's show Mommy and Daddy! Even our towels are all wet. This isn't the fun time we were hoping for, is it? Well... Oh, my hat! Caillou was having fun on the beach, but it didn't look like Mommy and Daddy were having any fun at all. Maybe we should make it an early day and head home soon. Caillou didn't want to go home yet. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy how much fun a day at the beach could be, even a rainy day. Look what we found! Say, that's a pretty nice clamshell. Let's go find more! Well, okay, just for a little while. I don't know why we were worried about the rain. We came to the beach to get wet anyway. Oh, no! Kids! My feet are gone! Where did they go? I know I had my feet at the picnic table. Do you think I left them in my sandals? <laughs> no! They're under the sand! <laughs> oh, phew! We found them! I'm so glad! <laughs> Look, Mommy! <laughs> we found Daddy's feet! Oh, pee you! Now what shall we do? They knew exactly what they wanted to do. All done. Do you like it, Daddy? I do. It's a terrific sand castle. Let's get a picture. Say cheese. <laughs> oh, 
my. I think the rain is coming back. This time, it really is time to go. So, did everyone have fun? Yeah! And what about Daddy? I sure did. You were right, Caillou. It was fun at the beach, even with all the rain. Yeah, I wish we could bring the beach home with us. Ten! Oh, dear. It looks like Rosie is bringing the beach home with us. That day, Caillou taught Mommy and Daddy a lesson about making the most of a rainy day. <laughs> oh, no! Not again! Caillou's neighbor, Mrs. Howard, was cleaning up her cellar. It wasn't an easy job. Hmm. The Lightning Ball Express! Oh, hello, Mrs. Howard. Come in. I hope you don't mind, but I brought over something special. I think Caillou's going to love it. Hello, Caillou. I have something to show you. The Lightning Ball Express. It's a perfect scale model of a coal-fired train, complete with caboose. Choo-choo? That's right, Rosie. A train. An electric train. It was my son's favorite toy when he was growing up. Why, I hadn't seen it in years. Wow, it's great! I know what. How would you like to borrow it for a while? Really? Yes, please, Mrs. Howard. Thank you. Caillou was very happy. He couldn't wait to try out Mrs. Howard's train. <laughs> All aboard! Choo -choo. For the rest of the day, Caillou sent Mrs. Howard's train traveling all over the house. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my train of thought. Does the conductor want a snack? time with Mrs. Howard's train. All aboard! Attention! The Caillou Express is pulling into Gilbert the Cat Station. <gasps> oh no! Mrs. Howard's train! What am I going to tell Mrs. Howard? Caillou was very upset. He had broken Mrs. Howard's train. He didn't know what to do. Caillou, is everything okay? I heard a noise. Everything's fine. I was just, uh, making up sounds for the train. Uh, crisp smash, crunch, blam. <laughs> okay. Caillou wanted to make sure Mrs. Howard never found out about the broken train. He knew she'd be very upset. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Well, then, I think you've spent enough time indoors. How about a trip to the park for some fresh air? Okay. Caillou was having so much fun on the swings, he forgot all about Mrs. Howard's broken train. Hello, Caillou! <gasps> that 
was a close one. Caillou didn't want Mrs. Howard to find him because he didn't want to explain what happened to her train. Hi, Caillou. I was hoping to run into you. Look what I found for the train set. A cattle car. Uh, thanks. Oh, that was odd. Yes, indeed. As Caillou and Mommy walked home, he worried they would run into Mrs. Howard. All right, Caillou. What's this all about? Why are you hiding? Hiding? I'm not hiding. Caillou! I found another piece to add to the train set. A water tower. Oh, well, isn't that nice, Caillou? Now, where did he go? That's the second time he's done that today. I wonder what's wrong. Is it something I said? Caillou, can you come out here, please? Mrs. Howard and I would like to speak with you. Oh, hi, Caillou. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Ducky and I are just having a little soak. <laughs> hi there, Caillou. Uh, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there something the matter? your train, Mrs. Howard. Oh, the old Thunderball Express. Broken again. I'll let you in on a little secret, Caillou. My son broke this train hundreds of times. I became an expert on how to fix it because it got broken so often. So don't worry, Caillou. Accidents happen. Oh, I'm so glad you're not upset with me. Me too, Caillou. But if anything like this ever happens again, you need to ask for help, rather than covering up your tracks. <laughs> I'll head on home and fix this up right away. Uh, All aboard! Caillou was glad he wasn't hiding from Mrs. Howard anymore, because Mrs. Howard was a fantastic train conductor. Woo -woo! Caillou and Leo were playing space adventure. Have you seen any alien robots around, Daddy? Alien robots? Hmm, let me think. I'm on a space adventure! And Leo is the alien robot. <laughs> now I get it. Well, last I saw, the alien robot was in the kitchen drinking lemonade with Rosie. Lemonade? Save some for me! What? It's not lemonade, Caillou. It is rocket fuel. That's what alien robots like to drink. Suddenly, Caillou saw something strange. I don't believe it. I think I just saw a flying saucer. Flying saucer? Are you sure it was a flying saucer? Um, it was round and flat and silver and shiny. It looked just like that. It was kind of small, but it must have been a flying saucer. Flying saucer! Your dinner is getting cold, Caillou. Sorry, Mommy, but I don't want to miss the flying saucer when it comes back. You know, it might have been something else that you saw. But what else is round and flat and silver and shiny and flies around? <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Sweet. What did the aliens look like, Caillou? I didn't see the aliens, just their flying saucer. 
But we think they were green and had three eyes, just like in the comic book. Wow. wow! That sounds very exciting, Caillou. But you know, sometimes the things we see aren't really what we think they are. But what else is round and flat and silver and shiny and flies around? I don't know. It certainly is a mystery. I know. I'll find it and bring it in for show and tell. Then everyone will see. Yay! Yay! That is very adventurous of you, Caillou. But I hope you won't be too disappointed if you don't find a flying saucer. Don't worry. I'll find it. Just wait. Caillou decided he would try to catch the little flying saucer. Soon as the flying saucer comes back, we run outside and catch it with Daddy's net. Okay, Rosie? Flying Sasu. Right. <laughs> Gilbert, you're gooping up my binoculars. I won't be able to see the flying saucer. Ah. Flying Sasu. Yeah, flying saucer. Flying Sasu, flying Sasu. <gasps> realized that catching a flying saucer was harder than he thought. He needed a new plan. All right. If your flying saucer comes back, I guess you can try to take a picture of it to show your class. Thanks, Mommy. But if it doesn't come back, that's okay, too, because everyone will know you tried your best. It'll come back. I know it will. Then I'll show everybody. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Rosie, they're silver like the one we saw. <laughs> Look! Rosie, <laughs> Daddy, Mommy, Gipper! And no flying saucers. You tried your best. That's what's important, Caillou. And you did take some very funny photos of your family, especially this one of Gilbert. I, I think I have a frame for it so you can hang it in your room. was disappointed. It wasn't a flying saucer after all. It was only a pie plate that had blown out of the recycle bin. Flying saucer! It's not a flying saucer, Rosie. It's just stuff blowing around in the wind. Thank you, Rosie. The wind sure has been blowing the last few days. Why so glum, Caillou? I told everyone at school I'd find a flying saucer. Now I have to tell them it was just a pie plate. I see. You know, Caillou, instead of being disappointed about what you didn't do, you should be proud about what you did do. What I mean is, you didn't prove it was a flying saucer but you did solve the mystery by proving what it really was, a pie plate. I did do that. Can I please have the pie plate to take to school, Daddy? Flying saucer! <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. It looks like a flying saucer. Yeah, but it's just an old pie plate, and I proved it. Yay! <laughs> Good work, Caillou. You know, I think you've given me a good idea for an art project. <laughs> hey, look! Leo's an alien! A uh, robot alien. I am thirsty. I need a drink of rocket fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou didn't find a flying saucer, but he did enjoy making one with his friends. One day, Daddy and Rosie decided to play with some modeling clay. And Rosie was taking charge. Big eyes! Small toe! Big ears! 
Okay. Space robots flying through space. Space robots looking for aliens. Would you boys like to make something out of clay, too? No, thanks. We're having fun playing space robots. We're looking for aliens. Okay, just take it easy, then. No problem. Space robots, turbo power! Okay, Rosie, here you go. Your very own clay poodle. Be careful, it's still soft. What's our next space robot mission, Caillou? Let's explore more planets. Leo and Caillou continue to play space robots upstairs when they almost had a cosmic crash. Rosie Poodle! Careful! Oops! Sorry, Rosie. But I think it's okay. You know, that poodle looks pretty neat. Rosie Poodle! Woof, woof! <laughs> Now our poodle is a guard dog. <laughs> beep, beep. Aliens are in the area. We have to go. Oh? <laughs> Alien <laughs> escape. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Must pick up the space food. Wow. Look, alien headquarters. That space poodle needs rescuing. We must escape the aliens. Super turbo power. Unfortunately for Caillou, all of his space robot flying made him very dizzy. Whoa! <gasps> I've got it. Uh-oh. Caillou was worried. He knew how upset Rosie would be if anything happened to her poodle. And that poodle was squash-a-doodled. <gasps> That's right, Rosie. Oh, no! It's Rosie! Quick, hide it! Caillou and Leo tried their best to keep Rosie from entering the room. Rosie Poodle? You can't come in, human! It is not safe. Aliens everywhere. Danger! Code Red, stay away! Rosie want Poodle! Who wants to go to the park? Me, me, me! Rosie, Rosie! We're gonna stay here with Mommy. Whew, that was close. But what are we gonna do? Rosie will be so upset if she finds out we broke her Poodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo came up with a plan to solve their problem. Let's make another poodle, just like the one we broke. Yeah, maybe Rosie won't even notice. The boys got to work on making a new poodle dog for Rosie. What do you think? It doesn't look like a poodle. It looks like a half elephant, half poodle. It's an elephant poodle. <laughs> <laughs> the boy's creation seemed to get wackier and wackier. That's not a poodle. It's a hippopotta monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy's giggling got louder and louder. <laughs> it's a lion noodle. <laughs> <laughs> the boys tried one more time to make a poodle. Ta-da! It looks like a poodle. Um, well, sort of. It doesn't look anything like the one Daddy made with Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Mommy! How was the poodle? Oh, no! Rosie's back! Hurry! 
We need to get this poodle back in front of her dollhouse. If you space robots need to refuel, I made some space lemonade. Animals! Indeed! Some very interesting animals. Hey there. Uh, is there something wrong, Caillou? Caillou felt bad about trying to trick Rosie with their poodle. He decided to do the right thing. We were having fun with our space robots, but we got a little carried away and... and... and we squished Rosie's clay poodle. We tried to make a new one, but it's not very good. Caillou turned to Rosie, expecting her to be very upset. Aminos! Aminos! He was surprised to see she was so happy. I'm glad you boys admitted to your mistake. But Rosie found the other animals you made. And I think she loves them even more than the poodle. Aminals! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I like your aminals. They're very inventive. Thanks. Look, Rosie, this one's a hippopotamonkey. And this one's a lion noodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo had learned an important lesson. It was much better to own up to their mistakes and tell the truth. One evening, things were getting a little wild at Caillou's house because Caillou and Rosie were excited about the animals they were going to see at the zoo. Arr, I want to see the tigers. Wah, wah, and power. <laughs> I know you're excited, kids, but we're not going until the weekend. Hey, look. The zoo is offering camel rides. Really? That'll be fun, sitting way up there on the camel's hump, don't you think? Yay! Camel! Riding on a camel sounded like fun. But after seeing a picture of a camel, Caillou wasn't so sure. The next day at preschool, Caillou asked Leo what he thought of camels. Do you like camels, Leo? Nuh-uh. They're weird. They have big humps on their backs and big googly eyes and a funny long neck. And they don't like people. And they spit. Really? really? Ew! Here we are, the zoo. What should we do first, kids? How about a camel ride? No, um, I want to see the monkeys first. Can we please? Monkey, monkey. <laughs> okay, little monkeys, come on. <laughs> Look, Rosie, I'm a monkey. <laughs> We've been watching the monkey for a long time. I think Rosie wants to go now, Caillou. Why don't we go for a camel ride? Yay! Camel ride! Caillou didn't want to go for a camel ride, but he didn't know how to tell Mommy and Daddy. Rosie likes parrots. Maybe we should go see the birds next. Right, Rosie? Parrots! <laughs> okay, come on then. Rosie liked watching parrots, but soon she'd had enough of this, too. Go now? But you like the parrots, Rosie. Let's stay and watch them some more. <laughs> Look, I'm a parrot. You be a parrot, too. No. Bye-bye, Parrot. Look, kids, the camel rides are nearby. But look, there are sea otters. We like sea otters, don't we, Rosie? Can we go, please? Okay, we'll go see the sea otters, and then we'll go see the camel. Caillou pretended to be very interested in watching the sea otters, but even he was getting a little bored. Go now, Mommy? Now? Yes, Rosie, it's time to go now. Come on, Caillou, let's go and see the camel. But I want to go back and see the monkeys again. Can we, please? Caillou... You know you can tell us if something's bothering you. I 
don't want to go for a camel ride. They don't like people. And they spit. Spit? I've always heard camels are really nice. But you don't have to go for a camel ride if you don't want to. It's your choice. But maybe you should come and see the camel before you decide. Caillou thought about this. He had to admit, he was a little curious about camels. Okay. Hi, camel! Hi there. Are you next up for a camel ride? We're not quite ready yet. Caillou here just wants to watch. That's okay. Caillou, this is Rudy. He loves meeting new people. Do you want to come and say hi? Does he spit? Spit? No, not usually. He's very friendly. And he's a pretty nifty animal. <coughs> Take a look at Rudy's feet. <laughs> he only has two toes. That's right. Camels need toes like that for walking in the desert. Their toes spread out to keep them from sinking in the sand. And when camels walk, they step with both legs on one side of their body, and then both legs on the other side. Not many oh. creatures walk like this. Camels were becoming more and more interesting to Caillou. Oh. What else do you know about camels? Well, did you know that camels are the only animals with a hump like this? Most people think camels store water in their humps, but they actually store fat. With all that fat, they can go a long time without eating. Up to two weeks. Two weeks? That is a long time. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a camel. Would you like to touch Rudy? I do it! <laughs> uh -huh. Come on! Hi, Rudy. Caillou was pleased that Rudy didn't spit on him. In fact, Rudy didn't seem to mind him at all. Would you like to help feed Rudy? Um... Come on, Caillou. We'll feed Rudy together. Rudy was very gentle. Caillou was amazed. So, who wants to go for a camel ride? Me, please. Hi, Camel. Okay. Mm. Up we go, then. <gasps> wow, I'm doing it. I'm riding a camel. Look, Mommy. Look, Daddy. Way to go, Caillou. Our turn next, Rosie. Rides are really fun. I like Rudy. Can we come back again sometime? Sure. I don't see why not. And when Rudy walks, he moves both legs on one side and then both legs on the other side. And it's really fun. Wow. wow. I can't wait to go to the zoo and have a camel ride. Caillou didn't just overcome his fear of camels. He inspired others to do the same. Rosie was having a wonderful tea party in her room when she heard <laughs> giggling. Rosie had no idea why Caillou and Andre were laughing, but she wanted to know so she could laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen to this one. <gasps> <laughs> okay, me next, me next. <laughs> that was even louder than mine. <laughs> Funny noise. Caillou and Andre thought Rosie was going to ruin their fun. Come on, Rosie. This is big kid stuff. You go back to your room and... <gasps> <laughs> that was the best raspberry ever! I never knew you were so funny, Rosie. I'll get it. It's probably our dinner guests. Just in time, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Caillou, Rosie, time for dinner. Wow, that was fast. You must really be hungry. I'm setting the table, sweetheart. What would you like to drink with your dinner? Milk or apple juice? <gasps> <laughs> Grandpa and Grandma are here. Are you kids looking forward to having dinner with them tonight? <laughs> Although Caillou thought Rosie's raspberries were very funny, Mommy and Daddy did not agree. Mm hmm. Seems like the kids have learned something new today. Yep, and I'm not sure I like it. Grandpa, Grandma! Grandma! Grandpa! <laughs> Hello there! We've been looking forward to seeing you. So, did you kids have a nice day? <gasps> uh, so you didn't have a good day? <laughs> we had a great day! Andre and I showed Rosie how to blow raspberries! <gasps> <laughs> See? Mm. Children, there will be no more raspberries at the dinner table, thank you. It's not proper. <laughs> that night, Caillou was still giggling, thinking about Rosie's raspberries. Good night, sweetheart. Love you. <laughs> Caillou, I think we need to have a talk. Blowing raspberries can be fun, but sometimes it's inappropriate. Inappropriate? Inappropriate. That means it's not how we'd like you and Rosie to behave. It seems to me you're encouraging your sister. But raspberries are funny. Doesn't that make it okay? There's a time and a place for everything, honey. Even funny stuff. Blowing raspberries is fine when it's just silly fun between friends or brothers and sisters. But most other times, it's impolite to make rude sounds, like raspberries. Do you understand? <sighs> okay, kiddo. Time for bed. Don't forget, tomorrow's the big open house at your preschool. Open house. Right. <sighs> Good night. was very excited to show his family around his preschool. Come on, over here! Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. We're just about to showcase some of our students' artwork. Isn't that right, Caillou? Uh-huh. I made a special painting. Me too. Hi, Leo. Welcome to our preschool's open house. You're welcome to take a look around the classroom, but before you do, I'd like to show you some of the artwork the children have been working on. Oh, wow. nice. Oh, my. Ooh. Caillou was so very proud to see his painting on the wall. He couldn't wait to show it off. That one's mine, right there. Ooh, wow. It's beautiful, Caillou. I love it. What do you think of your brother's painting, Rosie? <gasps> oh, my. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> 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 not everyone found Rosie's raspberry funny, especially not Caillou. Not this time. Sweetheart, we're sorry for laughing, but we weren't laughing at you or your painting. Nope, just Rosie's raspberry. We thought your painting was terrific. Nobody even got to see my painting. They were too busy laughing. <sighs> you were right. Sometimes raspberries are inappropriate. I have to talk with Rosie. <gasps> Ro 
Rosie, you have to stop blowing raspberries. Sometimes they're rude. You hurt my feelings tonight. <laughs> I'm not mad. Just don't blow raspberries anymore, okay? No more? No more funny noise? No more noise. Well, maybe sometimes. When it's just you and me acting silly, okay? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, Rosie. Let's go play. Caillou had realized there was a time and place for everything, <laughs> even blowing raspberries. When is Grandma getting here? You two are certainly excited to have Grandma babysit today. Maybe it has something to do with her promise to bring over something special to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it is. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma's here! Grandma's here! Now don't worry. The kids will be just fine. You have a good time golfing. Bye-bye! Goodbye! Be good for Grandma. Okay. Have fun, kids. So, are you ready for some treats? Treats? Yes, please. I went to a special cooking class yesterday and learned all about olives. Did you know they're healthy and delicious? Caillou had never even heard of olives before. He wondered what they tasted like. I made some homemade Italian olive bread. Try some. Mmm, the olives look like chocolate chips. Yummy! Rosie really liked the bread, so Caillou thought he would like it too. Caillou didn't know what to do. He knew it wasn't polite to spit out his food. So, what do you think? Caillou didn't like the taste of olives, but he didn't know how to tell Grandma. It tastes, um, great. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't sure you'd like it, but now that you do, I have lots more olive treats in store for you. Yay! More? Kids, snack time! I hope you like crackers with a special dipping sauce. Can't you just smell the... Olives. Ah! Olives! Caillou didn't want to eat the special dipping sauce, so he came up with a clever way to avoid it. I better go check on the oven. Here, Caillou, help yourself to some more. Caillou! Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are we having for dinner? Pizza! Yay! Caillou loved pizza, especially the way Grandma made it. Caillou could hardly wait. Olives? That's right. Your favorite and mine. Olives. <laughs> Rosie, too. Caillou didn't want to eat the pizza, but he couldn't think of a way to tell his grandma. Are you hungry? 
something the matter, Caillou? No, I, uh, just saw some dirt on the floor and decided to clean it. There, all gone. Whew. Clean plates. How wonderful. Since you both like olives so much, I'll have to make more olive treats in the future. And just wait till you try my special homemade dessert. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to think about what Grandma had in store for him next. <sighs> Doesn't it look yummy? Eat up! Caillou couldn't stand to eat another olive. He realized he needed to tell Grandma how he felt about them. So, who's ready for some dessert? Ozzy, too! I don't like olives! <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't like the taste. Why didn't you say something before, Caillou? I didn't know how to tell you. And you worked so hard to make us all those treats. Caillou was sure Grandma would be upset with him. <laughs> oh, Caillou, I'm glad you told me how you feel. Aren't you mad at me? No, everyone has different tastes. You don't like olives, and I don't like beets. To each his own. Besides, I think it's nice that you were worried about my feelings. Caillou was relieved, especially when Grandma revealed her special homemade dessert. Oatmeal cookies! Caillou was delighted. There wasn't a single olive in sight. So, did you have a fun day? We sure did! Rosie name? You want me to help you put your name on it? Okay. An olive slice? What's that doing in here? Oops. I guess I have some tidying up to do. That day, Caillou learned that he could be honest with Grandma even when it came to her cooking. <laughs> it was after preschool, and Caillou was still getting dressed to go home. Gotta make sure we're all bundled up. There, finally, we're all set. Wave goodbye to Miss Martin. Bye-bye! Bye, Miss bye. Bye, Martin! Bye, Caillou. <laughs> this way, Rosie. Snow! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Rosie go, Daddy! Rosie go! Caillou thought the big hill looked very exciting. Can we go tobogganing, Daddy, please? Not today, but tomorrow's Saturday. We'll come back then. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> come on, Rosie. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm going to go down the big hill. Hmm. It's pretty big. Maybe you should wait and see what you think tomorrow. But Caillou couldn't keep his eyes off the big hill. He was feeling very sure of himself. <laughs> Mommy! Guess what, Mommy? Daddy's going to take us tobogganing tomorrow, and I'm going to go down the big hill. Well, that's exciting news. B but don't you think the big hill might be too big, Caillou? It's not too big for me. Like I said, Caillou, wait until tomorrow and we'll see. Daddy, wake up. It's time to go to the park. We're all bundled up. I helped Rosie. We couldn't find one of her boots, so I lent her one of my old ones. <laughs> old boots! Daddy whispered too. 
just like Caillou and Rosie, so they wouldn't wake up Mommy. Good job, Caillou. But I think I know where to find Rosie's missing boot. Come on, we'll fix some breakfast before we go. Come on, Daddy, hurry! Not here. We have to go to the big hill. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> go, 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 go! Faster, Daddy. Go faster. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hold on to Daddy, Rosie. It's a big hill. Too big for you by yourself, but not too big for... The hill was a lot bigger than Caillou had thought. Caillou go? The hill was too big for Caillou. He didn't know what to do. You know, Caillou, playing by yourself is okay, but sometimes it's more fun playing with a friend. Instead of playing on this big hill by yourself, it might be more fun to play with Rosie on the little hill. What do you think? Can you play? Yeah, playing with Rosie would be more fun. Want me to go down the little hill with you, Rosie? You can be in front. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Guess what? I'm going down the big hill. It's really big, Andre. It's not too big for me. Daddy, can I go watch Andre go down the big hill, please? Okay, but be careful. Yeah! Come on, Caillou, hurry. I want to go down the big... Whoa. <laughs> The hill was a lot bigger than Andre thought, too. It really is big. Too big for you? No way. It's just that, uh... The hill was too big for Andre, but he didn't want to tell Caillou. Daddy! Way to go, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's more fun playing with a friend. Huh? Instead of playing on the big hill all alone, you could play with me and Rosie on the little hill. Yeah, we can all play together. That will be more fun. Yeah! Come on, Caillou, let's go. Awesome! I thought Andre was going down the big hill. I think he was scared of the big hill. Hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong with being afraid of something. But sometimes, it's not easy to say you're afraid. Caillou knew just what Daddy meant because he didn't want to say he was scared to go down the big hill. Just like Andre. I told Andre it would be more fun to play with me and Rosie. So then, he didn't have to say he was scared. That was a good thing you did for your friend, Caillou. Maybe next year, Andre and I will go down the big hill. Come on, Caillou! Give us a push, Daddy! Go, 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 go! Yay! <laughs> Caillou learned that it was okay to be afraid of something. He would slide down the big hill. Someday, 